I deeply care about this profession. You know, I believe in the work that teachers do. I understand the importance of public education. I know for so many of our children, that's their only option. This idea that parents should be the ones to decide sounds novel, but I always ask the question, what about the kids who don't have a parent to decide? You know, that would have been me. Isn't it our responsibility to make sure that every school is the best that it can be? As a priority, I think we really have to move towards a system where all children have access to pre-K. I would see, even at the high school level, kids who came in behind stayed behind. So we really have to have education that begins from pre-K and goes all the way through post-secondary education. I think one of the things that I really understood even more as National Teacher of the Year and as my work in the classroom, we have to focus not so much only on college as the only alternative for success. We have to have career training. We have to show that there's value in hard work. You know, we have so many skilled labor jobs that remain unfilled and so many young people who graduate high school and don't go on to college. We have to bridge that gap so that they become productive members of our workforce, you know, conscientious members of society. I think we have to bring back civic education <laughs> in a more robust way so that people really understand the role of government in our society and not only the role of government, but their role, you know, to facilitate what needs to happen. I just think that education is our lifeblood. If we're not looking at it as an investment, if we're not treating it as such, if we are not creating mentor programs for new teachers so that they're supported, when they reach difficulties, they don't leave the profession. You know, there's someone there to help them along, to help them grow and build and develop into the true leaders that they can one day become. We have to redefine what this looks like.